I'm Sherry. I have the Troll Hole Museum in Alliance, Ohio that houses the Guinness World Record Troll Doll Collection. As you can see here behind me, we get troll mail. This box came in from our friend Sandy Swinson, the SanDisk book company that publishes Scandinavian books about trolls. So let's dig in and see what's in the box. And the first thing I see here are some really cool bookmarks. Tricks for trolls. This is what brought me to order from Sandy. I saw this bookmark on eBay and at the bottom I could see it was from the SanDisk company. So I contacted her directly, ordered some up, and we will be selling these in our shop. Whenever I get merchandise and anything troll related, I always take one and add it to the troll collection in the museum. We have over 22,000 pieces of trolls, troll dolls, and troll memorabilia such as the these things here. So there are our bookmarks. You'll be able to find them on our Etsy shop and you'll also be able to see them in the museum. Proverbs on learning. So here's one for you. One who knows little has little to forget. Hmm, let's ponder that one. All right, our next winner here in our troll mailbox, Nordic Tales. These tales were by Ulna Thinel and these are very old tales of trolls with the illustrations. So there we have our very cool hardbound embossed copy of Nordic Tales. The most famous and influential of the trolls, John Bauer. has a classic images of trolls and influenced many other artists such as Froud, Jim Henson. We've got some really nicely done lithographs. This was just recently republished. Wow, this weighs like five pounds. Gorgeous book. I have some of these illustrations in the museum, but I did not have any of these copies until now. And here we have another really famous, more recent, the Dior Lures Book of Norwegian Folk Tales. They did several books on trolls. The most famous troll fairy tale of the three billy goats gruff. We talk all about that at the Troll Museum. One to put in the museum and one for purchase. And here is the book I just referenced to do our lures, Book of Trolls. Trolls have really long noses. This troll, there's a specific folk tale about her. Her nose is so long she uses it to stir her pot of soup. And this is a newer edition than the one I currently have in the museum. It's a little bit thicker. Really nice glassy paper. Norwegian Folk Tales by Alberson and Mo. So these two gentlemen were the first ones that had the idea to go out and about all the villages and collect the folk tales, record them. And it looks like I've ordered up two books about North mythology and how the trolls interact and play out in these really nice quality. The Three Billy Goats Gruff. They sold out, so now I have some more to sell. That classic tale of the three goats and the grumpy troll under the bridge. Jan Brett, Trouble with Trolls. If you're good to a troll, good things happen to you. Seven Ways to Trick a Troll. Now here's a book that's brand new to me. I'm really excited about finding out the ways to trick a troll. We also have here another version of the three billy goats for the kitties. One you can wipe down, then you won't get a head cold like I do from little kids' snotty noses. They tucked in some of these troll gift cards. Theodore Kittlestone was the other significant artist to do some iconic images of trolls, and they sent these cute little assorted pack little gift cards. And highly recommended by Sandy was this Children of the Forest. Won't know until we crack the cover and see what the story's about. So thank you for sharing my box of troll books, my troll mail of the day. Watch for more. If you ever want to come visit us, we're in Alliance, Ohio. It's northeast Ohio, 20 minutes from the Football Hall of Fame. We do 45 minute guided tours of the museum, interactive, educational, and funny. We have the Grumpy Troll Cafe, thousands and thousands of trolls. We have a website, thetrollhole.com. Follow us on Facebook. If you like my video, subscribe below, ring the bell. Sherry at the Troll Museum, trolling along. Till next time.